and welcome to Hannity. And tonight we are back live with a studio audience. By the way, it is three degrees outside in New York uh, City. By the way, a hellhole. You don't want to live there. Um, and all these people came out. Thank you for coming out in the cold weather. Uh, I know it was rough for you. And as always, by the way, the audience will get the last word tonight. We have a lot of news to get to today. We begin with a 60,000-foot-in-the-sky uh, balloon that's flying over the continental U.S. somewhere, where at this moment, we're not exactly sure. Uh, it is a massive Chinese spy balloon the size of, say, three school buses. It has been hovering over our country for days. And why hasn't our government told we, the people, uh, about this? They are the self-proclaimed most transparent administration in history. Now, China says it's a weather balloon. I don't believe them. Anyone here believe them? No. Can say it louder. No. no. All right. They're saying it accidentally is flying over America's critical military infrastructure. Now, it's happening in multiple states. A lying communist spokesperson named Mao told us to calm down. Quote, any deliberate speculation or hyping up will not help. The Chinese side is gathering the facts and hopes all sides will handle this matter in a cool-headed manner. Uh, how about we don't need lectures from the communist Chinese? And yeah, no doubt they're gathering facts about our military bases, our nuclear facilities, and God knows what else. Now, I have an idea. How about China gets their asses out of our airspace, and if we don't, we'll blow them out of our airspace. Uh, right? Don't they have enough people to surveil back in their un own country? They have, what, 1.4 billion Chinese citizens they treat like prisoners? Or well, what about the minority Uyghurs that have been persecuted and they're trying to exterminate? And, by the way, are we supposed to be cool-headed when a spy balloon is hovering over the U.S. and our nuclear sites? all while China is throwing a complete and total hissy fit every single time an American official wants to visit an allied country called Taiwan, where they say they want to reunify with. Now, the last time Pelosi visited our Pacific ally, the CCP, they threatened targeted military operations against us. And China even claimed that global stability was ruined because Mike Pompeo, who will join us in a moment, congratulated Taiwan's president on his second term. Well, we're just supposed to be, what, calm, cool, collective, relaxed, about a Chinese spy balloon hovering over our country in our airspace. So I have another question. Why haven't we shot this balloon out of the sky? Oh, Joe Biden is the president. He is refusing to take any action as of now. Apparently, this has gone on for days. He won't even talk about it. He doesn't want to answer the questions about the little balloon. He doesn't have time for the Situation Room where he should have been all day with our top military leaders. But no, Joe Biden, this weekend, is back to Delaware for rest and relaxation. Now, this, is this a joke to him? Because it's not to me. This seems to me to be a serious uh, security threat to this country. And, Joe, if you don't want to be president, if you can't handle it, if you don't want to work overtime, if it's too much work for you, you can go away, you can leave, and you can stay in Delaware and don't bother coming back. And please don't leave us with the giggling vice president, because I don't think she knows what to do either. Anyway, any competent leader, right? You, I thought Joe was bad. I'm beginning to think she's worse. I really am. Any competent leader, Democrat, Republican, would be in Washington in the Situation Room managing this crisis. China has breached our airspace. They're now spying on us. But the administration says it is too much of a risk to shoot the balloon down. They say they are worried that debris might hit a population zone. Keep in mind, the drone first flew over a barren part of Alaska. The White House, they took no action. It then flew over the vast prairies and mountain ranges of Montana. And by the way, even flew, flew over our ICBM launch sites. And the White House took no action and didn't tell us. It was probably close to some of that farmland. China's been buying farmland all over the country. They've been buying ranch land all over the country. They've been buying land near our military installations all over the country. Now, do you think the Chinese would ever let Americans buy their farmland, their ranch land, or buy land near their military installations? I would say the odds are zero. And Biden wants to sell, what, more of our strategic petroleum reserves to the Chinese after he depleted it down to a 40- to 50-year low? 
then stop wasting our money. He's simply not fit to be president, and we have to ask the question, did his high-dollar family business dealings with China compromise his ability to do the right thing in this moment of crisis? Right now, by the way, we don't exactly know where the balloon is flying. That's not good news either. According to a Pentagon spokesperson, if the American people want to know the location of the China spy balloon, uh, you only need to look up in the sky. They said that. Take a look. As I mentioned right now, it's over the center of the continental United States. That's about as specific as I'm going to get. But I understand my being convenient, but does the public not have a right to know if uh, the balloon the is over The public certainly their state? has the ability to look up in the sky and, and see where the balloon is. Hold on, hold on. Let me look up in the sky. I don't see the balloon. Maybe it's not in New York yet. Look, I'm glad we still have the ability to look up in the sky, which is a privilege. Um, but is it just me, or does the Biden administration see, seem to have more contempt for we, the American people, than our number one geopolitical foe? Now, as we speak, Vladimir Putin, our number two geopolitical foe, he is planning to launch a hypersonic missile capable of hitting the United States during a war. This is during war games, uh, a drill that he's doing with China simulating an attack on the east coast of the U.S. But Joe Biden is still refusing to supply Ukraine or allow Europe to supply Ukraine with the fighter jets that they need to win the war against Russia. So make no mistake, there is something deeply wrong with the president that is quick to call Republicans a threat to the country, but will not stand up to Russia or even take action against a Chinese reconnaissance spy balloon flying over U.S. military bases. In contrast, today, former President Donald Trump, he released this video on what is a real clear present danger, and that is the growing threat from the communist Chinese. Take a look. As president, I took the most dramatic action of any administration to curtail China's ability to conduct espionage in the United States. And when I'm back in the White House, those efforts will be expanded in a very, very big way. Instead of hunting down Republicans, a reformed FBI and Justice Department will be hunting down Chinese spies. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.